Okay, guys, so uh, welcome to this week's Idiot Side Quest. Welcome back. It's me, Brandon. Wow. Wow, it's me, Leah. Mm. It doesn't change. What? I'm the excited anime girl here. Where are the titties? Show me the proof. Um, anyways, uh, so this week, uh, our side quest is going to be talking about really weird Stephen King sex scenes. So I'm going to put a disclaimer right here. If you're not above the age of 18, slash you don't want to listen about very strange sex scenes, click off now. I don't really care if that affects I mean, it's not like we're showing anything explicit. We're just talking about explicit things. And my other disclaimer is, I don't know anything about Stephen King novels. Yeah. Not at all. So it's going to be like a guessing game for me to try and figure out what the fuck is happening. Yeah. So this year, I have kind of just been rereading a lot of Stephen King novels um, between, you know, Pet Cemetery coming out with a remake. And then, you know, it's remake, and then they're coming out with Doctor Sleep as well. So I've just <clears> been rereading a lot of Stephen King. And for those of you who don't know, your boy has some strange sex scenes in them. And uh, so... I just say it's the cocaine. It, oh yeah, 100%. It was the cocaine. Um, but yeah, no, this is just for jokes. This is for lols. Um, I didn't put any of his gratuitous rape scenes in here. Ah, um, those exist, huh? Yes, those okay. exist. Those exist. So like, Ooh. so like the scene from Bag of Bones, that's not going to be in here mainly because that was an actual plot device and because it is a gratuitous rape scene. So we're just here for the walls. We're just here to have fun. I compiled some strange sex scenes. Some of them are from Stephen King. Some of them I made up and then some of them are from different authors as well. Um, and so I'm just going to have Brandon mostly react to them because I think it's going to be funny. And then also have him try to guess if it's real or fake. And if he guesses that it's real, if maybe if he can take a shot in the dark and guess what title it's from, which I don't think you'll be able to do that, but uh, it'll, uh, it'll be fun. It's I just... know. I think he wrote The Shining. He did. Cabin in the Woods. I've seen the movie. No, I don't. Is that Steven? Yeah, yeah, that happens in Maine. Or not, it's not Cabin in the Woods, but it's like in the movie, it's Johnny Depp and he's in a cabin. In the woods. I don't think he wrote Cabin in the Woods. It's the it's like the window or something. Something or the mirror. Dreamcatcher? Is that what you're talking? I don't know. Okay. I have also I haven't read every single Stephen King novel. So if if he's right, if Cabin in the Woods was his, which I don't think it was, you know, he could he could be right about that, but I I don't think you are, so I'm sorry. Um, also, I'm going to apologize because I'm going to be looking at my phone through most of this because I had to keep this secret from him. So his shock would be actual shock. So you might just get a lot of me looking down. What is it? What is it? Secret window. Thank Thanks, you, Logan. <laughs> secret window. That's, that's what he was talking about. He didn't write Kevin Fever. Fever, right? No? That's just a movie. A cabin in the Woods. Oh, cabin. You didn't write But see, in Secret Window, it's Johnny Depp, and he's in a cabin in the woods in Maine. If it happens in Maine, it's Stephen King. I feel like that is. Yeah, it is. Okay, so, yeah, let's just get 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 going. I'm, I'm ready, I guess. Just don't preface it if it's in Maine or not. That's a dead I, giveaway. I did kind of keep most of these vaguely obscure um that way you know we could talk a little bit more in depth about them after i have you guess and you know hopefully characters names and stuff like that doesn't give it away for you um so the first one a writer in a motel compulsively masturbates every single day onto the bed which the main has the maid has to clean up every single day but instead of cleaning it she eats it <laughs> <laughs> Now, see this? I I don't think this sounds like a hentai thing, man. I'm pretty certain that's a hentai thing. So I don't think that's a Stephen King thing. It's I'm, real. I, wait, it's real. So like it's it's Stephen King when yeah. you say it's real. Mm -hmm. It's real. It's by Stephen King. Um, this is from one of his short stories, dedication. How short is this short story? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I believe it or not, I do not have. Time to read all of Stephen King's works. Uh, I did mostly look up these. Some of them I know from reading them myself. 
but you know, to fill the episode, there were there were some. I'd like more details on this. This is like a hentai, man. <laughs> um, well, I mean, it, it's kind of it kind of just is what it sounds like. I guess this uh writer, he's in a motel room and he just masturbates. I like oh, the actually... synopsis. I like the I like the synopsis version, but <laughs> actually, if I, I'm re- I remember now, correctly, like, while I was just... reading, the reason as to why she's eating his. <laughs> Seed. seed. His seed is because she's pregnant, and since he's a good writer and all that kind of stuff, by eating his seed, like his her baby will absorb it and become a great talented writer. From what I read. Man, he did a I don't how many like we know about the cocaine. How many yeah. drugs did this man do? You know, I'm not too sure. Also, I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but the day that we're filming it, it's the day after Stephen King's birthday. So happy birthday, my guy. Um, this is probably not going up anytime around there. But yeah, that's kind of also why we're doing this right now. But yeah, no, I, 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 I'm not sure. He's, he's out there. Thoughts? I'm gonna think on that one. What's it called? Devotion? It's called Dedication. Dedication. Yeah. Um, I can't remember... Because it's, it's like a book of, full of his short stories. I, I can't remember what it's called. Um, you can look it up, though. Um, okay, next. Look at that book. Uh, literature teacher pleasures his student with one of his pens while reading them his r- latest novel excerpt. So once again, there's a writer mm-hmm. involved. Hmm... That's it? That's all I get? It's just he just pleasures them with a pen while reading them novel excerpts. Yeah, and like him reading them, his novel excerpts, is like what gets him off. Stephen King? No, that one's fake. I actually made that one up. (laughs) You're following it up. You're following that one up intentionally. All right, I see. You're trying to check. Well, I mean, I'm going to be honest. A lot of Stephen King's characters are based on literature people he kind of that's his fetish man honestly i'm very like very curious about stephen king and his like sex life like i don't know if he's just like a pervert or what (laughs) he's just a creative type who did a lot of cocaine creative i mean hey keep keep that sex life like spicy i guess okay This next one. After an emotionally traumatizing day at work, watching a young college student die, the main character is comforted by his wife by her giving him a handjob in a bath with a sponge glove. One more time. After I'm ADD. I stopped paying attention after like five words. <laughs> after an emotionally traumatizing day at work, watching a college student die... The character is comforted by his wife by her giving him a handjob in a bath with a sponge glove. Now, I feel like I... Was this actually made into a movie or something? It's not in any movie adaptation. Because I feel like I've seen something similar or maybe read something similar. I, I want to say it's not Stephen King. I want to say it's somebody else. Like I want to say it's actual. It's not made up. That's an actual literature piece. And I've experienced it somehow. Um, so it is Stephen King. Do you want to guess what book it's from? It's from it's from one of his well known titles. So I mean if you if you take a shot in the dark, you might be right. I don't know that much Stephen King. I know you don't, I'm sorry. Um mm, but it, like I said, I've I've definitely heard of it. Also, after you guess, I want to I wanna go on a tangent about this one. I got no idea. Okay. I got no idea. So, this one's from Pet Cemetery. Okay, so maybe that's why I semi know. Yeah. So, just because, okay. To me, personally, I think this is the weirdest sex scene he has. Because, like, so the main character, he is a doctor. Slow down. You're going to follow it up with a woman 
eating a man's semen off some bed sheets and say it's it's weirder than that? Yes, I okay. am. Okay, go on okay, the tangent. I want to hear this reasoning because I don't believe it. Get in this mind frame. So this guy is a doctor. It's I think I think it's either his first day at like on the job at this college campus or like his sec like first week. He watches a kid brutally die. Like this kid gets hit by a car. He looks fucked up. Oh. Like it's absolutely traumatizing. I thought he was like dead on a football field or no. something. Like took a no, concussion. Like, hit by a car, mangled body, messed up. Oh, so we're talking like death note live action. Okay. Traumatizing, yeah. And he was talking to his wife, like, about what happened. And he's taking a bath. And this like woman's response is to give him a hand job in the bath with a sponge glove. Which, by the way, while I was reading this, I had to look what up... What is a sponge glove? I had to look up what a sponge glove was to make sure that what I was picturing was right. And I can tell you right now what you're picturing it's is... It's straight up, it's a sponge it's like, glove. Yes, it's a glove that has, like, sponge attached to, like, the, the palm and, like, the fingers. It's really weird. Now, I won't, I won't knock the glove, but the, the context of this happening, yes. It's, it's weird. <laughs> Like, oh, oh, sweetie, you had a tough day at work. But it's not even like he's not instigating it or no, anything. No, not She's at all. She's just like, hey, you know what? You, you witnessed some death. That's hot. And he's I'm hot. into it. <laughs> he's into it too? Yeah, like after it starts going, he's like, okay. So, uh, yeah, that's one of them. Um, so, next one. And they're making that into a movie soon. No, it was already made into a movie. Like, it, it came out, I think, in, like... You said it wasn't a movie adaptation. I said it wasn't in a movie adaptation. That scene's not in it. You tricked me. It's, what? It's not in it. I didn't trick you. I said it wasn't in the movie adaptation. But didn't you say there's a remake or something coming? It it already came out. Or it just came out. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, wait, no, it did just come out. Because I... Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, not yeah. just, but, like, a couple months ago. Yeah, over, over spring. Um, okay. And that scene's not in that movie either? No. Even it's... though that new movie is... I know. It's a new age, man. Sex scenes are everywhere. Yeah. I, I want to see that sponge glove. Like, while I was leaving the theater, I was mad about it. <laughs> I was so Where's the sponge glove, though? <laughs> it was... Main character. I was genuinely upset. Um, okay, the next one. A schizophrenic pyromaniac and a crazed maniac travel together, and during their journey... The maniac assaults the pyromaniac in his ass with a loaded gun. The pyromaniac enjoys it. You want to throw that one to me again? Because there's like a lot of lines kind of getting drawn everywhere. Okay. Like I generally absorbed it, but I mostly just want to hear it again. <laughs> okay. A schizophrenic pyromaniac. It's like three blondes walking to a bar kind of joke, but it's not. Um, and a crazed maniac who travel together. During their journey, the maniac assaults the pyromaniac in his ass with a loaded gun. Pyromaniac enjoys it. Is this like Catcher in the Rye or something? <laughs> Sounds like something from that. <laughs> no, it's not from Catcher in the Rye. Um, I remember Catcher in the Rye having a really weird sex thing to it. So I remember for the longest time, my grandpa really wanted me to read Catcher in the Rye. He was like, you'll love that book. Blah, 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 blah. I love my grandpa. I'm sorry. But I ended up reading it in high school for like a required book or something. And I Same. hated it. It was so boring. I didn't exactly hate it. I just remember being like, why is this book so banned? Why is it banned everywhere? Is it really? Yeah, it's like the top. I think it's like the fourth censored book in the world or something like that Why? i don't know it's up there with harry potter I'm hurt. exactly okay. um i want to say it's not stephen king but i want to say it's real it's stephen king what's this man writing about i've been wrong about all these the one that i thought was stephen king wasn't stephen king but all these other ones are like like, because it's like, I believe I'm being real, but I believe, like, other people making them. But, okay, give me more context to this. Okay, so this is from book. The Stand. And so, 
basically there there are these two guys um oh my god i i'm spacing on their names right now um but yeah they're traveling together i think this is like when they're in like las vegas or something like that and milo notice basically um the schizophrenic he's like giving the other guy like a hand job mm -hmm. and during the hand job the actual crazy person shoves mm -hmm. a loaded gun i think it's actually okay. a rifle if I'm... <laughs> wow a lot of shaft there probably <laughs> yeah and he shoves it up his butt and like if i remember correctly the guy is just like no and the other guy's like yes and like it's like it's ripping his butt apart oh <laughs> and um you know at first you know he's not into it like it's it's a loaded fucking the bitches gun. be cray but after a while i think he likes it <laughs> if i'm remembering correctly uh, but so, yeah. How does that make you feel? I'm concerned for Stephen King. Yeah. Um, I have, like... I knew he was weird and out there, but, like... You gotta put your... I, I've written book and, books and stuff and short stories. And, you know, you have to put yourself in a, a character's headspace to write things. And so, to be able to write things like that, you really have to just be like, wow... Steven, buddy, you buddy, okay? yo, yo, why you over there, buddy? You okay, man. Um, once again, I love Stephen King as a writer, and but there, there's just some weird, funny stuff. It kind of makes you laugh. Um, I know there was a segment we were talking about for the podcast once too, where we were gonna say, "Is so and so okay?" Yeah, is Elon Musk? Is, is Elon, Elon Musk, Musk okay? okay? Is is Stephen King okay? We could we could make that happen. We could, we could make that a thing. I'm asking right now, is he okay? Honest, honestly, I think he is okay. Modern day Stephen King's okay. M modern day Stephen King, he's decent. He's living his best life. He, I saw he got a fucking, because he was his birthday, he yeah, got a t-shirt full shirt of his dog. dog. Yeah. The evil one. It was great. Um, And he was, he did a cameo in the new it, and it was hilarious. Um, And I've heard him speak about his wife. Very fondly. She sounds like a wonderful woman. But um, is old school Stephen, like, is writer Stephen King, is he okay? He still comes out with stuff. He just had another book come Is out. it still fucked up? I don't know. I haven't read that one yet. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's strange. It's very, it's questionable. Um, also, I did not include the orgy from It because I assume that you already knew about that one. Which no. He did not. Um, Nothing. So I guess since you already know that one's a real one and you know what it's from. What's the context of it? Yeah, like give me a description of it. Okay. But also, if we go back to the main concept so far of our episodes, alignment chart. Where's Stephen King's alignment? Is he chaotic? <laughs> I mean, I feel like you gotta be. But where? Chaotic no. neutral? Chaotic evil? Yeah, chaotic good. good? Question mark? <laughs> Kind of good. He's a good guy. He's just a little bit strange. Um, but so yeah, no. Um, basically, as like a bonding thing between all of the lo losers. Um, there's Beverly, who's eleven. <laughs> all of the other losers who were twelve at the time. And so what? There's there's Beverly. There's Stan. There's Bill. Good old Bill. Mike. So yeah, I think there's five guys and one girl, and they have an orgy. And they're like 12? 12 and 11, yeah. Which, okay, so a lot of people are mad about that. And surface level, yeah, I get it, but also... But also, I mean, like, the thing is, so I think mad? it's... That's like a censorship thing, I would say. Like, I see... From hearing about some of Stephen King's creations, I'll say creations, writings, and he is like straight up capturing raw human fucked upness. Yeah. And you know, I mean, that's. I'm not questioning it not being in the movie. I just like, because while I was doing this research, RIP my search history, but like, I want to say 90% of the articles were about this orgy. And... Was it in a movie? Was it in the movie? No, it's, it's just okay. in the book. It's just in the book. Yeah. And like I That's get I, I I get the outrage behind it, but I feel like it's a lot of outrage 
for a book that came out 30, 40 years ago at this point. Maybe. People want to be mad to be mad. But also, like, from a media or, like, a consumer standpoint, I mean, you kind of have to also understand, I would say, I don't know. Like, no, I, I get why, like, some people I are just mad about it. I just know that when I took psychology classes, like, that was a big piece of, like, when you go into the id and the ego and things like that. And sexuality is a big psychology, like, confusing area especially like where and why and what like how it develops it's usually in small children and so like to have like that kind of happen and well like let's let's it's be... weird to have it in a book yes but is it outrageous, outrageous. i don't think so just like let's be honest I, I if you're reading it for many reasons not just the orgy scene i don't think a child if you're reading it to get off it. then you're fucked up yes but to just acknowledge its existence yeah. i mean it's a thing and like let's be real like that's the point in time when like people are exploring their sexuality again bonding adulthood adolescence whoa it'd be that way yeah it'd be that way okay um next one a drunken mother forcibly kisses her 14 year old son is this bates motel no <laughs> Um, forcibly kisses her 14 year old son while she's drunk off of wine and uses her middle finger to slowly show him how to explore a woman's body. And I would like to kind of clarify this because I feel like I sign off it strangely, but he's not touching her. Like it's, it's borderline uncomfortable incest, but like, it's not really crossing the line. Like she's using her middle finger to show him where to go after kissing him in a very awkward way. What? So this drunk... Who's touching who? <laughs> okay. So the mother is I'm going to call touching... you out on it that it's not made up at this point cuz you know in depth about what's going on here. However, <laughs> is it Stephen King? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um and it's not Bates Motel. No, it's not Bates Motel. I mean, it's real. I'll say not Stephen King. It is Stephen King. Why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? <laughs> like, why did he rate it? Uh, I thought you said you had other examples. I do. Thrown in, in here. I oh, do. Why? But why? Who's showing who and how and what? It's her <laughs> middle finger? Yeah, it's her middle f finger. And, like, she's, like, pointing to her body. Like, Oh, so she's showing him the good stuff. Yeah, and, like, telling him to, like, take his time and stuff. And, like, she's, like, very fucking drunk. Like, she's spilling wine everywhere. It's uncomfortable. It's strange. The kid leaves and goes to his room, which I don't blame him. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. Yeah, it's, it's a hard pass. It's, like, borderline incest, borderline, like, unconsensual, like... Well, borderline? Well, it, yeah, no, it's unconsensual. It's not consensual. It's... Nancy. Yeah, it's gonna be a no for me. Nancy. What's it from? Oh, um, it's from Source Material. Full Dark No Stars. Hmm. I feel like I need like, especially with some of these two, I'd like to hear what the overall plot of these like books are about, or like the overall story that like leads up to this. Like you gave me the plot to Okay, so the Pet Cemetery ish kind of at least the events that led up to it a bit more. Yeah, kind of. Well, because personally, that's the most fucked up one to me. So I, I like everything that's behind it makes it weird. But I, I want to say the reason why I included these specifically are is because it's ones that have nothing to do with the plot. Like they're just, just there. They're just there. Like you're listening to a chapter and you just hear these weird. Poor Stephen just got really horny one night oh. while he was writing. He's like, you know what? Let's make a fanfic right here in the middle of my. Let's make a an Undertale fanfic right here in the middle of my story and then continue the plot. Like nothing ever happened. And they're always like in such vivid detail. Like very, very detailed. Fanfic. Yeah. He's a fanfic writer. Essentially. He was just a little before his time. I guess so. Before the interwebs. Someone show this man a form. Mm-hmm. He's probably got like a fake account because he like writes other books under like uh, fake names and stuff like that still. Or he did. I don't remember. Like I don't remember. Is Stephen King okay? I think he's okay. 
now. <laughs> okay, this next one. A man satisfies himself with a peach that he's depitted. After finishing, he compares the peach to a rape victim and eats it. You had me going until the rape victim part. <laughs> Because all I was thinking of was the grapefruit technique. <laughs> I knew that this is where this is gonna go. I love the grapefruit method. That's that's some quality, quality fruit. Um. Squeaky chair. Stephen King? No, no, this is a fake one, but it is from a real book. The book is called Call Me By Your Name. I haven't read it, and I was an asshole, and I didn't read, write down the author's name, and I'm sorry. Um, I'm sure it's a great book, but yeah. So, basically... Do you know more about the general? Yeah, because I, I, like, I read like a big quote on it and whatever, like basically an ex excerpt of the book from it. Um... So basically, this guy, he deep hits, he depicts the peach, and he fucks it. Okay. See, I'm tracking up to there. I'm tracking that. And he finishes. Wait. So he he blows his load into the pit area of the peach and then eats it. Okay. Okay. See, I didn't. I don't. I don't know why my brain like skipped that detail. Maybe I was already just like I. I think you talked about deep hitting the peach, and I saw where it was going, and I was just thinking about a grapefruit. I was just thinking about grapefruit, and so I was just I, yeah. I stopped listening a little so bit. So after he, like, and while he's like doing this, like I guess he has a romantic interest or a wife or a girlfriend or something, where he's like, I wonder what would happen if she walked in right now, and he's like, hopefully she would join. <laughs> and um. Yeah, no, he finishes and like he like I guess he's looking at the peach and he's like it's like bruised and like all fucked up because I guess he was going hard. <laughs> he's like, wow, it looks like a rape victim munch. Yikes. Mm-hmm. I question people. Okay. Are writers of books in general okay? Dude, I <laughs> I had to... Is John Green okay? Is J.K. Rowling okay? No, she's not. No. She's definitely not okay. She's lawful evil, let's be real. I think most writers are. I think that's the... That's where it all comes down to. Okay. Um, up next. So, during sex, um, the girl thinks to herself... Alright, so we're starting normal. Yeah. We're on good pace. We're on good yeah. track. The girl thinks to herself that the best thing that she had ever heard was cows chewing grass. <laughs> Sometimes the mind wanders, you know? Cows chewing grass? Call it fake. It doesn't exist. This is probably a Leah fantasy and it's just weird. Please let me get there. Oh, we're not done? Okay. Please, please continue about the cows chewing grass. I mean, the mind wanders and all, but... <laughs> okay. She thinks to herself, to herself... She starts chewing grass. That the best sound she had ever heard was cows chewing on grass. But this is better. <laughs> it's fake. This is Leah's fantasy. This is her fantasy. You're fucked up. It's not like it's not Stephen King, but this is from an actual book. I stand by that. I don't think authors are doing okay. I think they are. They are like having trouble. They need to. <laughs> but this is better. Is that like a quote? Is that like a, a quote? Like, page here, paragraph five. Yeah. What's it from? It's a, from The Butcher's Hook. Once again, I didn't grab the author's name. I'm sorry. But this is better. <laughs> I'm more concerned on the cows chewing grass, honestly. 
Like, I'm assuming, like... Like, I'm, who just sits there and goes, wow, <laughs> look at that cow. They're just going. They're just... Chewing grass. This sounds great. This is the best sound I've that ever heard. That is a great sound. Like, if I were a, a Foley artist, I'd put a mic up to that cow's mouth and just... Like, just the ASMR that I need in my life. You're editing this. There it is. Thanks, cows. Thanks for chewing grass. This is better. Okay. Up next. After a bad round of BDSM that went too far, a wife kicks her husband. Is this a th 30 seconds to Mars music video? No. Um. A wife kicks her husband off of her, accidentally killing him in the process. Wow, that escalated quickly. How does he die? Like, he hits his head while falling off the bed. His skull gets uh, cracked open. I will say, yes, Stephen King. I think this is your first one. Hell yeah. You did it. That was <laughs> weak. Try... Eh, that'll work. Eh. Um, so yeah, this one's from Gerald's Game. And once again, this one's actually really fucked up. So <clears throat> I'm going to take a sippy sip real quick, quick. So this it, one was the most tame, so it was, like, understandable. Well, okay. So, yeah, it's, like, kind of tame, but, like... How does it affect the story? She okay. kills her husband. So, this is On the accident. fucking story. This is the story. So, this couple, like, I guess they have a cabin somewhere, and mm -hmm. to spice up their relationship, they want to try BDSM. Like, you know, so it's, like, an older... Like, not, like, old, old, but, like, you know, they've Middle. been married for, like, 10, 15 years. And like they're they're trying to spice some stuff up, so they try BDSM, and he handcuffs her to like the bed headboard mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And you know he's going too far. She's like, "Nah, stop, safe word." Safe and, word. Lemon juice. And uh, he doesn't Pickle listen, juice. and so she kicks him off of her, like get it to stop. But in the process, she accidentally kills him. But she's handcuffed. Her husband's dead. So, she's in this cabin by herself, handcuffed, and, like, she's, she goes crazy. Like, she's seeing things that aren't there. She ends up going so crazy that she thinks that there's this one guy watching her, like, while she's sleeping, stuck there. But she convinces herself that it's just a hallucination. In fact, it was not. It was actually a serial killer that was running amok around the area. And he didn't end up killing her because just seeing her in that fucked of a situation satisfied him. Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah. This whole What's this from? Gerald's Game. I Gerald's yeah. Game. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, that's a... Uh, hmm. Like, that's fucked up, but it's also... I don't know. that. That's like the one that I'm just like, you know what? Stephen King is okay. <laughs> Stephen King, he's okay. This... The other ones, I'm like, no. I think we should no, title this episode doesn't... that Stephen King is okay. <laughs> Stephen King is okay. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully people don't watch too far. I'm thinking that this is like an actual good discussion. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. It's. Okay. That one, that one's understandable. I could. Yeah. I, that's, I can like, make sense of that one. That's a believable scenario. That one's like, okay, that's probably some good writing, you yeah. know? That's, that's good. Um, That one is a Netflix original, and that one's pretty good. So, hmm, check that one out. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> After having sex and finishing, the man thinks to himself where his sperm is going. Dot, dot, dot. For a long time. I'm going to go up one step back. It's about BDSM sex. Of course, it's a Netflix original. Second. <laughs> fake? It's too vague of a description. Okay, it's from a real book. It's from a real book. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's from 1Q84, or I could, I, I've read this book, but I can never convince myself if it's 1Q84 or if it's like 1,084. He just is... What's he think about? Like, why is he so confused? Did he not take sex education? So that's or does like... he think that does he start having like miniature plays like Macbeth in the womb? So honestly, all it is is he's just thinking to himself, "Where is my sperm going?" Which like 
If you think about it, like throw this... over to Scrubs. Is this JD? Is JD mm -hmm. the man? Is this the inner monologue in the books of Adam? No. Um, but it's just one of those things where, like, I guess I get like the philosophical like part of the question, but like also at the same time, like it's that's a concerning question to have, you know, and just kind of think about it. The average male. I can see it. I can see it. Is it a good book? Uh, yeah, it's it's long though. Um, also, fun fact: is that the only thing that gets thought about in the book, or is that just a no, small segment it's, it's of the book? It's a small segment. What's the overall book about? Um, where they just full stop and be like, "Where does sperm go? <laughs> is sperm there when I die? Does sperm die? What's happening? Is the universe real? Whoa, oh, dear, whoa, man." I understand. <laughs> the truth is out there, bro. Universe is beautiful. Um, yeah, no, I haven't read this one in a while. I don't really remember what it was about. Which, as an adult, I'm learning that books that I've read that haven't been in, like, the past few years, I don't remember. Um, also, fun fact. So while I was doing research and finding, like, fake ones, this book is by the same author who did the Wind Up Book Chronicles, which is also uh, another one of my favorite books. And Wind Up Book? The Wind Up Bird Chronicles. Bird. And I, once again, I haven't read it in a while, so maybe I'm just forgetting how weird it was. But like, I guess there's a sex scene in that one. And like, when I was looking up weird sex scenes, it was like almost on every single list. And I was like, I don't, I don't remember it being weird. <laughs> Maybe because it wasn't that important. Maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> okay. Next one. So while an entire town is being destroyed by a demon, right after a character... We're back to hentai. I mm -hmm. knew it. Right after a character has lost his brother, like, aka, he dead, he gone. And he is protecting a woman. The woman thinks about how great it would be to bone Dave, quote unquote, till his liver explodes. And that actually really does sound like hentai. I'm sorry, this is hentai. I don't know what boning his liver, like. Till it explodes. Well, why would the liver have to do anything with this? That's why I included it. Why is the liver involved? I don't know, but she wants it to explode. Do these people just need to go to sex ed? I think these people, yeah. They need at least a high school education. Uh, I will say yes, Stephen King. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is one of the books that he didn't publish under Stephen King. I can't remember the name that he published it under, but it's called The Regulators. And it's about a neighborhood that just kind of gets destroyed you by- You said they got killed by demons? This is a hentai. No. I'm pretty certain that Stephen King's just a hentai writer. <laughs> People sleeping on hentai. Just saying. Stephen King just spends his time watching anime. Be funny. He's a mega weeb. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, there, there are some more weird sex scenes, but this is kind of what I came up with really quickly. And also I tried to like not involve like really gross ones, but I feel like we have more time. Is there more to like the sex scenes of The Shining? Have you read the book? Yeah, That's I have. Stephen King, right? Yeah. Because um, all I remember... It and you see it in like the movie quickly, but there's like people in the hotel and they're the BDSM and yeah, things like that. But you're also just like, you just see it quickly, but there's no meat to yeah. it. You just like see it and you're just like, what's happening? <laughs> ah, Jack's weird. not a doll boy. Whoa. This place is haunted. Freaky. Um, okay. So. Shining is actually the next Stephen King book that I'm rereading. So once again, books that I haven't read in the past two years, I don't remember. But from what I remember, um, I don't want to, I want to say, I don't think the bear blowjob happens in the book. I might be wrong, but I don't think it does. And then another one that I remember is I think it's the first time Jack goes to the bar and like finds out that it's like stocked with booze and he sees that like bartender booze ghost. Um, and you know other ghosts are around and jack jack ends up dancing with this one woman but like somehow her dress falls off or like out, suddenly naked 
So she's I think that's away. in the movie. Cause she, or at least no, that, in the movie, it's like she's in the shower or something. Yeah, there's the shower scene with the woman in 237. And, um, yeah, she, Jack, Jack's doing a little peeky peeky. She's mm-hmm. like, oh, you like what you see? Hello, I come to you. Yeah. I am rotting. Hot twist. The why? The question's always, but with, with a lot of these, I'm more curious about the why. Um, so I'm going to be honest, the Shining, the book, and the Shining, the movie, they're really different. I mean, I feel like most movie adaptations. No, like, it's really different. How different? Like, what are the big differences? God. I haven't read this in so long. Oh, Give me a quick synopsis. Okay. Like, what are well, the, the okay. big difference? Um, so I think... Does Jack not go crazy? No, Jack. He, he does. Um, okay, I'm trying to think. I think that... You know how the room 237, I think it's a different room in the book. And I think also the reasoning behind it is different. If I'm remembering correctly, I think there was like this couple that used to stay there quite frequently... And, like, the wife found out that the guy was cheating. And, like, ugh. She axe murders him. No, I don't think In she... typical Colorado fashion. One of the only Stephen King books that's not in Maine. Does Stephen, does the story actually take place in Colorado? Yeah. Like, he just straight up chose, like, hey, that hotel right there in Colorado well, that's he... fucked up, I'm gonna write a book about it. Well, he based it off of a real hotel that he was staying in. Or did he base Jerome? Did he base it off that hotel? Because that hotel. No, no, it's not. It's not the hotel in Jerome. <sighs> you want to go on a Jerome tangent? Because like I feel like we got like twenty minutes. That, that place we could is kill. fucked up. That's all I can say. Jerome, Arizona. Mm. Like what? Okay, so we're from Arizona, and like I know it's haunted, and I've been to Jerome. Well, see, the thing is for me, so I've had like my fair share of like ghost encounters. Like I've had a fair amount of like paranormal encounters, stuff like that. But there is a very distinct difference between, like, ghosts and black magic worship and witch magic. Mm -hmm. There's very vile intent in Jerome. Okay. There's, like, definitely, like, sacrificial black magic and witch practice. Like, not like... I I feel like I can't say witch practice, though, because there's a lot of, like, witches that are, like, you know, they're... Good. Fine, yeah, yeah. They're just, like, naturalists. But it's... The bad kind. So what? The dark spirit <laughs> demons trying to seance things like what that. What happened in Jerome, though? I don't know. I've only been through the town once, scared the fucking shit out of me, and I looked it up later. Like, I didn't even know where the place was, but I was, like, driving through there. I was like, this place, I'm getting a lot of anxiety, and it's super fucked up. And then I looked it up later. I was like, hmm, apparently it's well known for being haunted. It's a little fucky. And then, uh... Sarah, her family came down once for, I think it was Thanksgiving, and they went up to go to Sedona for the weekend, and their GPS, they routed to come back to Phoenix, and their GPS took them all the way out of the way. To Jerome? Took them to the hotel in Jerome, weekend. and then looped. Cool. And they had to reprogram their GPS. Cool. Um, yeah, no, I've been to Jerome a couple times. I think it's fun. I like their, they have a cool kaleido- kaleidoscope shop. I think the thing is, too, is I was there right at sundown mm-hmm. like the sun was starting to go like right towards the horizon i was just like mm, mm-mm. see i love mm-mm. getting the spoops no i'm here for the spoops no um okay so i also i wrote down a couple things some funny things um that happened while i was researching um so most of the websites talking about the sex scenes in stephen king's novels apart from the 90% that we're talking about the orgy, um, were either Reddit or, like, religious parenting websites being like, is this book okay for my child to read? No. And, like, I found this one where it had, like, ratings for, like, the, um, like, language, sexual violence, and then, like, overall, like, gore. Rated T for T. Yeah, like, in... Like, it was very thorough. An ESRB rating for books. Yes. Here is a reference from one of those websites. 
describing as to why Stephen King should not be read by their children. And like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to not. I'm not arguing that one. I'm not going to not. It's mature it. topics. It's mature topics. I'm glad that parents are taking the initiative to know what their kids are reading. That is a good thing. But as an adult myself, I kind of find this kind of funny. I got to be honest. Um, so this parent wrote many references to sexual encounters involving non-married couples who are dating. Oh. One extended scene with descriptions of sex. Several references to sexual acts, mainly through innuendo or crude languages slash jokes. Few references to pregnancy out of wedlock. How dare they? How dare. Um, one reference to a child molester. Several characters flirt with each other. Flirt with each other. How dare they? Um, poor, Out of wedlock. Poor, to- poor tenant offers to pay the rent with sexual favors. Few references to prostitution. Character goes to strip club and then fondles wife in public. But you wouldn't know it. I feel like that's that's like, I'm going to hit you with this. Whoa, I'm going this way. (laughs) Yeah, like talking about people who are dating, talking about people who are flirting. Just kidding. He's going to fondle his wife in public. Well, it's like, too, it's like strip club. Bo, he's being a little bit infidel. Just kidding. It's about the wife in the end. We got him. We're staying pure. Psych. Um, Okay, so like, I think we got like 10, 15 more minutes that we could kill. Um, Hit me with it. I don't, I don't know what to hit you with. I mean, like, I guess I could talk about, like, some of, like, the more gratuitous stuff out of Stephen King. But, like, once again, I feel like people will get offended and stuff. So I kind of don't want to. Um, because it's, it's more about, like, non-consensual stuff and that's kind of grody. Rapey stuff. Rapey stuff. And I can understand why people don't want to watch that or listen to that or even read it. So, like, I don't yeah. know. It's like too. It's like I mean, we. I think uh, did we talk about this on the previous podcast or was it like right beforehand doing research? But the mention of I think it was on the podcast, but horns. Oh yeah, horns. So horns is actually written by Stephen King's son. Oh, did you know that? I did not. Yeah, um, I can't remember what Stephen King's son's real name is or the pseudonym that he writes under. Um, so I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, no, that one's uh, written by uh, Stephen King's son, which, if you think about it, makes, makes a sense. lot of sense. It makes sense. Because at least, I don't know how the book goes about it, but in the movie, I really enjoyed Horns. I, I thought really it was hilarious. Horns. Like, I think the writing was top notch. And then, spoiler alert, in like the last, get I don't know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes of the movie, there is a very... Very graphic uh, rape scene. Yeah. Like, it is hardcore. Just, this is rape. Look at it. And I'm just like, like, I know we're talking about sins and, like, uh, yeah, the this dentist and the nurse are having sex. Head. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, he's, he's a fucking demon. But it, yeah. was it necessary? Yeah. I, 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 I like, maybe you can throw it in the novel because, I mean, maybe yeah. it's... It, the context it's is still a, a bit maybe. Better. It's like, still a yeah. maybe because the movie's about sin and very awful acts. Yeah, it, it, it really ruins the movie. Yeah, and it, it really took it away from a lot yeah, of audiences. It's, I it's, think it's really it's it's gratuitous and like once again that's kind of why I didn't want to I don't want to talk about like the um other ones that I can think of off the top of my head from Stephen King because they kind of take away. Yeah, like well no like I mean. Vagabones. Um, Vagabones is, is bad, gratuitous. What is the the book's overall story? Because it's like, so then the, you could try the and like... The book's overall story is have... because of this gratuitous sex scene that ter- turns into a mur- murder. But I could like, you know, I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's but see, it's like, it's... There's there's so something like, when it's like semi like yeah no this one's relevant, relevant to the plot yeah this one's relevant to the plot and it's like it sets up the story. Um, there's also one in the Dark Tower series which that one I have not read but like apparently a demon rapes a woman and the woman gets pregnant and like it's not cool in the first part but like I guess once you get to like part 
seven or eight or something like that, it gets real fucky. Like it's med mojo jojo. Hmm. Hmm. Um, let's stop talking about rape. Let's talk about something nice. How was your day, man? I don't know what to talk about. I'm mostly confused now. I still don't know if Stephen King's okay. I think he's okay. He named his dog the evil one. No. Is Stephen King's son okay? How's that man a dad? Is he an okay dad? Is he okay? I don't know. He seems like a pretty chill guy. His wife sounds amazing. Sounds huh. like a nice woman. Very supportive. And they gotta have a, a, a decent amount of income in their family. That's probably... Well, like, at first, like, when Stephen King, like, first started writing, like, I think his first think book his was books Carrie. Probably... His first book was Carrie, and I think they were living out of, like, a trailer home, like, and he was still, like, teaching as a teacher. Well, I feel and, like, like it's kind of the similar aspect of, like, books. Kind of like art. It's not gonna make you any money until you're dead. But we have this beautiful thing in place called Hollywood, and yeah. they make a lot of money. Yeah, and you can get some of it sometimes, but sometimes they might just steal from you and just not talk about it. Um, a little bit. That's yeah. entertainment, babe. Woo! Entertainment. Yeah, so um, I want to end this on a happy note. Let's talk about something happy for like 10 minutes. Let's talk about healthy relationships in books. Not strange sex scenes. Please, please lead that conversation. I don't know. I'm just, con- I'm sitting here in confusion at this point. I'm still actually like, the one that I'm really thinking about is the whole. The cow? No. No. No, the, the bed sheets. The oh, licking, yeah. licking semen off the yeah. bed sheets. That one. <laughs> that one's weird. But that like, one takes the cake for me. But like, yeah. Yeah, that one's really weird. I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, no. It's, it's strange. Um, okay. Dedicated? Dedicated, yeah. Dedicated, okay. Um, okay, yeah, I guess we're not going to end this on a super positive note. That was the side quest, though. Um, yeah, it was a side quest. It was fun. Happy birthday, Stephen King. Um... Is... She says he's okay. I, I still... I, I think he's okay. If you're watching this on YouTube, please comment. Is he okay? Please. <laughs> yeah. I need to know. Brandon. Stephen King, if you're watching this, please know. I need to know. <laughs> I want to hear it from you. Are you okay? I'm, I'm sure Stephen King's fine. I'm sure he's loving life. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Cool. I guess we'll see you guys next week. And uh, we'll talk about some stuff that's less dark. Maybe. Maybe.